we're out here catching some Europeans right now. If you want to target the Alpine, then you need to come out here at night as they are, they prefer nighttime. Oh. This one's actually, I know this is going to sound crazy, but that's actually big. That's a big European bullhead right there. Who you knows? I, I don't know enough about them. I don't have a diamond yet. But that, everything looks huge, Mike says, when I. Oh, we caught us a diamond European bullhead, guys. Wow. It took all of three seconds to reel it in. A diamond. My first diamond's a European bullhead. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And we are out here today putting a guide together for the new Alpine bullhead fish. You know, these fish, as you can see here, 0 0.30 pound diamond, I think, Doan told me he saw a 0.29 diamond. This is day two. This happened to be the only diamond I caught on day one. We got close on the others. You can see the European bullhead, especially if they go at 0.29. And then there's the dace 2.13. That's got to be getting close. And then the ref at 0.27. So these fish are so small, it's easy to get close like that. Uh, because they do not weigh a lot. Now the dace, about two and a half pounds, um, is about as big as they're gonna get. So they're the biggest of them. And this brings up some anomalies with the hook chart that I've, I'm gonna show you right now. But before we get into that, please do me a favor and hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell. I'm out here putting this work in for you guys. I get up like I did this morning, two hours before work so that I can work on these guides and get my editing in, get it out to you and then stream in the evenings and then leave time for family time because I do work 40 hours a week with my day job, which I am a teacher. So a lot of people don't realize the work and the effort and that it takes just to get these videos out and all you have to do for free dollars and free cents is hit that like and subscribe button notify bell just to pay me back a little bit no money required just watch my videos guys that's all i ask of you and word of mouth tell others about it let's help the channel grow and let's hop into it okay so we are going after the alpine bullhead today and there are only two known diamond locations. We are at one of them, and I'll show you the other one where I caught my diamond for the end of the video. We'll go there next. But now I have not fished this spot yet, but the spot that I caught a diamond in that you saw there at the beginning, you can see right here, it was near a river. So my hunch, we were on a river. So my hunch is to cast near this little river here, this little stream that's going out. You better use a 10 hook. I mean, you don't have to, you can use a nine hook, but here's the way this works. There's three of the fish are around the same size. They're, they're gonna go diamond around 0.29 or 0.30. So a, a, a third of a pound, they're going dime, okay? So they're a smaller fish. A uh, dace is the only one that has like a different hook chart. The other ones, the 10 hook is your silver and bronze. All right, we're getting a nibble right here. So the 10 hook is your silver and bronze. The nine hook is your gold and diamond on these small ones. Now that's rough in both the bullheads. This should be one of the bullheads right here. And look how small they are. That's an Alpine bullhead of 0.03. It's my smallest one to date. Now I will go ahead and tell you, if you pick up the challenges like I did, you see there the minimum weight, 19.84 pounds. That'll take us about 17 years to complete. <laughs> if we pick up those types of challenges going and targeting these dudes so we might want to go catch another fish or two of a different species if we want to knock that challenge out it would take forever <laughs> catching those little dudes all right so this doesn't seem to be too bad of a spot here we uh, already getting a second bite and i've not edited or cut or anything here Another bronze European bullhead. Bloodworm is like one of the top choices for all four. Okay? And you can do that. 
but you'll be if you really want to just target the new fish you need to pick a different bait and for the bullheads pearl barley is the bait uh, because the other fish that are normally paired up with the bullheads like the grayling for example you know you're going to catch those on blood worm too everything likes blood worm i mean i eat a blood worm every once in a while don't you guys i mean it's just like a good little snack you know what i mean uh so everything likes the blood worm here's something well something else likes the pearl barley okay the ad okay so the river spot that I was on yesterday, I didn't have to really deal with Ide. Let's cast, cast back over here. So it depends on where you're fishing at. So where I caught my diamond, I didn't have to deal with Ide. But what was there was grayling. And so I learned real quick to switch to the pearl barley. So up here, you know, you might not get bothered by Ide much. I mean, we caught... Um, those first couple there off the pearl barley so we'll see what happens here but but these fish are not very big you can see i'm using a dlc pole guys so if you really want to have fun with it put that beginner pole on and get get you some fun. i'm just at the point right now i don't need xp as we see wilson there out here burning it up um and wilson <laughs> thank you wilson for all your work he's already got the hook chart him and lenny have already got the uh the hook chart updated we're going to look at it here in a minute and, and he's even got some spots already there's a silver bullhead he's even already got some spots you know that have been reported and he's been dealing with uh him and lenny been dealing with the community records and and updating the known fishing spots you know for the diamonds and the hook chart and i, I bet you yesterday was a busy busy day for wilson their only trait is just their night house Okay, they are night owls, but here's the deal. And I'm pretty sure Doan caught his during the day too. Doan caught multiple. It seems like diamond fish, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments what you think about this statement I'm about to make. But it seems like diamond fish to me, and it's just going back through experience, are a little more aggressive, and will, and you'll catch diamonds during the day, or big goads even during the day if they're a nighttime fish it seems like you will uh, you know occasionally you'll do that it seems like they're a little more aggressive than just the normal there's a 2.76 that's the biggest common dace i've seen from bleak diamond there but um uh, it was funny i was catching all those european bullheads yesterday from uh spot number two that i'm going to go to then all of a sudden I caught an alpine diamond and I was convinced that I'd caught a European diamond. And it took dad's a psycho to tell me, Darth, no, you, you caught an alpine diamond. And I was just so convinced because it said nighttime that, you know, I probably wouldn't catch one during the day, but everybody I'm talking to has caught theirs during the day. I caught mine there. Doan caught his community record there. I think dad's a psycho caught his there. R. Lewis caught, I mean, so many people I know caught a diamond at this next spot that i'm getting ready to go to so it's definitely one of the hot spots and it's right on the east of the map right next to a waterfall um so let's get ready and head down there to that spot actually guys but before we do i, I want to show you guys this hook chart all right guys as you see right here this is what i was talking about look at the alpine the euro and the rough at the very top there look at the tin hook see how half of it's bronze half of it's silver the 10 hook is what you should use. If you're not getting a lot of bites when you switch to a nine, it's because it's gold and diamond only. And there's just not a lot of gold and diamonds in your population. You know, there's a few here and there, but you're mostly going to have bronze and silver until you can catch enough to cause a gold or a diamond to spawn in. So that's fishing for you. You just got to buy the numbers, just catch a bunch of them. Eventually you'll hit that, you know, diamond spawn. You know, I didn't think that it would be updated this quick. So kudos to Wilson and and Lenny or whoever it was that that worked on this. Interesting, it's the only fish that's split like that. Now we look at the common dace and number eight is silver and above. All right, guys, now let's look at this. We are at spot one. We're getting ready to go to spot two. Now this is right under a waterfall. What I like to do is spawn in over here at a fast travel point. And we're going to summon a boat. 
go through here and then i like to go up here and fish off the rocks but um, that's where i caught my diamond and had my good luck so let's head there now and look at that these are the only two known locations that we know of all right we've moved up to spot two this is my favorite spot it's my favorite rock you know gotta gotta stand on the rock we've got one coming in right now already let's see what we've got here alpine bullhead silver so definitely i don't know what's going on with nighttime as you can see it's really light out but it according to the time it's technically nighttime and i am having alpines bite more frequently now even though it's daylight out it's technically nighttime as you can see here it's 21 30 31 catch here alpine bullhead so we haven't even caught a european yet. so it's working like it's supposed to right now bite after bite definitely my favorite spot i could be a little biased since we caught a diamond here but you can see i mean we're getting some silvers and i have caught them all the way up there like let's do a long cast i've caught them all the way up there standing on this rock let's see if we can this is all the way up there in that waterfall and if you use pearl barley here nothing else should bother you there's grayling in here so if you use blood worm you get ate up by them i don't know if you can catch you might be able to catch a diamond grayling here i don't know there's a 0 0.02 that's my smallest so far <laughs> cute little feller i'll get my challenge done in 17 years guys Hold on. I'm going to need an extension. EW, please don't reset the challenges this week. I'm going to need like, like an extension on this. <laughs> so now it's looking, I see some Northern lights up there. It's looking, looking more dark now. Maybe it just gets dark a little lighter here this part of the world here comes one look at those fans fanning out there guys Ooh, that's a gold alpine bullhead all right guys that's a good one to end on right there we got our gold alpine bullhead all right guys so that is going to do it then Please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. Let me know your experiences. How many of these new diamonds or these new fish have you caught a diamond of? Right now, I'm one out of four. We're going to be tackling the European bullhead and the rough and the common dace. I highly recommend you go to Magic Pond and fish off the bank there. I'm going to throw a blood worm on because it wouldn't break my heart. I almost caught a diamond roach yesterday. It was over a three pound roach. So that's, that's why I kind of like throwing that blood worm on, throwing it out there, because you never know what you're going to get, because Magic Pond's like, like a box of chocolates. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell for me. Let me know in the comments how you're doing, what video you would like for me to make next. You guys have an awesome Friday. Catch you later.